Hello everyone. Again we are back to re-emphasize the point that agriculture, specifically the whole idea of value addition in the agriculture sector is very important for in a, in a country's effort to get alleviated from poverty. The project we, are, we have been talking about is one that has continued for close to one year now. We are growing cocoa. The aim of this project is not only to have more than um, 60,000 trees planted in this planting season, but it's also to ensure that after these trees have grown and the crops are beginning to yield fruit, to find a way to add value to it for our consuming public. Today, the country needs farming, agro-processing more than ever before. Today, we have to break the political divide and begin to talk about those things that will benefit the nation. Today, we are again emphasizing that our best way, the best way to climb out of poverty is to ensure that we use agriculture. Like I said in my last, last video, we have the 18 months variety of cocoa planted here. This nursery consists of the 80 months variety. We now have more than 50,000 trees. The process we are now embarking on is transplanting these uh, crops end of the day these crops will get ready will use the result and venture into processing I like to say to Liberians to Africans the world over that the best way Ace. It has always been to be able to invest in the soil. A nursery like this one will give you the benefit in a very short run. Like I said, in 18 months. The blank spaces you see here represent the spaces of crops that have been taken out and being planted in the field. Our transplanting process will continue until all of these get planted. The other side of this nursery is right to my right. And here is it. So you see, this is what Liberians need to get involved with. This is what we need to do now. Politicking is okay. 
But can we pay a little more attention to how we feed ourselves? Like I said before, if you cannot feed yourself as a nation, you have a very serious problem. The reason why we need to execute the agro processing here is because we want the jobs to stay right here. We will continue this conversation as time goes by. We are executing intercropping, wherein we are mixing these cocoa you're looking at with plantain and bananas. The basic idea is that these cocoa do not like direct sun sunlight. And so the plantain trees are basically to provide shade for them. But in the meanwhile, to be able to yield something. For the plantain multiplication process, we have put together these propagators. In them, we are multiplying plantain seeds. We are multiplying plantain buds. This is the new approach. This is the new approach to multiplying plantain. After they leave the propagator, we move them onto a nursery. Uh, the ones you see right before you here. The ones you see right before you here. These are plenty that have come out of those propagators. So we are able to get between 20 to 50 planting seedlings out of one planting board. These ones will also be taken into the field and planted amongst the cocoa. As you can see, far beyond, you see plenty planted among the cocoa right now. The whole idea is this form of intercropping will not only provide shade that will help the cocoa to grow well, they will also provide plenty to be consumed here. The cocoa are growing so well. We would like to say thank you for paying attention to this video. We will continue to talk about how we can be able to get away from a lot of politicking to a lot of food growing. This has been Amos S. Sibo Jr. I will talk to you next time on my next video. Thank you very much.